let's talk about configuring the audio inputs coming into the TriCaster. The TriCaster will allow you to bring in a stereo pair of analog audio for each of the video inputs, or up to four channels of audio as an embedded SDI audio signal on each of the video inputs. The audio mixer for the TriCaster is found right here on this tabbed module, and for each of the four inputs, you have a pull-down selector allowing you to select microphone, line, or embedded SDI audio as it's coming in. You have a fader to adjust your volume level, and of course, you'll have VU meters on each one as your audio is coming in. Configuring the audio outputs is done from the audio mixer, and on the back of the TriCaster, there are two audio output rows. Again, the first one is going to be your program audio out, and the second one is your auxiliary audio out, which is also configurable. The auxiliary audio output is configured from this drop-down, and you can configure it to output individual sources that can create audio from within the TriCaster, like the DDRs, or all of the internal sources together. Uh, or you can say you want to have solo coming out the auxiliary out. And this means you can go through and you can select individual inputs that you want to send out the auxiliary output, which means you don't have to send everything out. You can omit some of the audio inputs into the TriCaster from that output. This means you can output two separate audio mixes simultaneously from one TriCaster. The main audio out volume is controlled from this main slider. There's also a headphone jack, and that has an independent volume control here as well. And of course, the auxiliary audio output level is going to be controlled by this slider right here. Now that we have all of our video and audio input into the TriCaster, how do we get it out? Well, video has two outputs on the back of the 450. And again, there's a main program out, which is going to output the resolution that you've set the session to. Now, there is an SDI out and an analog output, and both of those are active at the same time. So because there are two rows of video output, there are actually four video outputs, two SDI outputs and two analog outputs. Now, the second row of outputs on the back of the TriCaster is configurable. Let's take a look at how we can set that up. From the interface, we're going to go to the Program Out Monitor and click on the gear in the upper right-hand corner, and we're going to click on the Output tab. Now, you do have a Proc Amp and White Balance Control here as well, allowing you to adjust video levels for the output of the TriCaster. So not only can you adjust your video levels on the way in, but also on the way out for ultimate control. Remember, if you've made any adjustments to any of these controls and you want to set them back to their default, you can always shift on the keyboard and double click on any of the variables and it will reset it to its defaults. You also have a reset button here, but that will reset all of the controls. Shift double clicking on a single control will only reset that individual control back to its default. Now down here in the bottom of this requester, we have the ability to choose, first of all, what's going to go out the auxiliary video out. And you can send individual inputs from the TriCaster, any of the TriCaster's frame buffers. You can also make this a preview monitor. So again, if you want to have a hardware preview monitor outside of the TriCaster's interface, this can be a video monitor. Um, we did look at setting it up as our multi-viewer as well, so either one of those options will work. You can also set this up to be program out to have yet another row of program out, or you can set it up to be program out clean. This is going to be the program out feed minus any of the DSKs that have been applied. So if you're doing any kind of regional programming where you want to be able to send the program to another area that uses a different language, they can add graphics on their end in the appropriate language. You also have the ability to send the effects row out, your auxiliary video out. This allows you to do a separate switch using one video out as main program out from the preview and program buses. An auxiliary video out allows you to do a cuts only switch from the effects row. Again, this is great for feeding side screens or secondary displays within an arena. You also have the ability to configure the resolution coming out of the auxiliary video output. This means you can output multiple resolutions, high def and standard def at the same time, 1080 and 720 at the same time, or even program feed with graphics and a clean feed without graphics simultaneously from one TriCaster.